Well, the long anticipated days here, the Eagle has landed. The world's first Thailand long tail riverboat has made it to the United States. The first one on US soil. It is at the Cletus shop and I'm on my way there right now. I got a call from them earlier that says it's been delivered and they haven't even opened it. It's like completely covered in bubble wrap and everything like that. So I'm hurrying up there. They said they did peak a little bit, but they're waiting for me to get there so that we can unbox it together. And I'm so pumped. It's been months in the making. I haven't seen this boat since the end of November. It's now early April, but we still have a ton to do. So we're gonna go over in today's video, unboxing the Thailand Longtail River boat here on US soil and what's to come with the engine, with the electronics and getting this thing back to running condition so we can start ripping it on the intercoastal. Let's cut to unboxing the boat that's finally made it. All right, well, we had a container from Venezuela earlier this month, and now a container from Thailand. From and Thailand? Yeah, it's Parker's. Oh, his boat? Boat. His long tail. No way. <laughs> the river boat? The river boat. <laughs> All right, let's hope it was strapped down better than the helicopter. All you right. Got the... yeah. Wait. Oh, good man. Yeah. Sealed up. Can I do it? Yeah. Can I do it? Okay, cool. That's good. Yeah, I'll do it. Hey, strong. Yeah. Thanks for letting me do that. All right, anyway, let's get this popped open. Well, I'll take I don't think it was crystal clear on that. All right. <laughs> Well, at least we know it wasn't tampered with. Yeah. Hey. Oh. Okay. That looks like it was tied nice down wrapped well. up. Look at the ramp, the blocks all screwed wow. down. Wow, they did a great job. Well, it's on that rocky ship, you know. Uh, Holy dude, look at how long this thing is. Come up here. Oh my gosh, it goes all the way to the other end. Let me climb. Let me weasel up in here. Whoa. Right. It's Why? really long. This is Whoa. his long tail boat. Dude, it's 30 feet long. I mean, I knew it was a long tail, but that's it smells long. really weird in here. Do we need uh, a knife and a sledgehammer? I got a knife in my that's pocket. Thailand you want to grab the forklift with the uh, extended forks on it? Now, well, this is a job for the shyster. <laughs> Damn, they, dude, they packed this down. Up so nice. Yeah. They really like Parker over there in Thailand, man. They might, yeah, they like that guy. Make sure there ain't no monkeys or nothing in here in the kitchen. Is that what Thailand's known for, is monkeys? I think they got them over there. Running wild. Cheetahs, all that stuff. Bad news. Dude, the boat definitely isn't this long. Yeah, it is. What? Yeah, it's huge. This is as long as the whole trailer. How long is one of these trailers? 40 foot? 40 foot. What's it's his boat? 30, it's 30 feet, the boat. No way. Yeah. This thing will clap a jet boat in the drag race. Uh, that's where you're wrong. <laughs> that's where you're wrong. I like how they got it like screwed down. <gasps> Bro. I see the transmission. That looks wild. No way, that's so cool, dude. Whoa, yeah, the boat's in there. The coolest thing Parker has ever done. Yeah. To get this boat. <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Beast, I mean Parker, is fired up about this thing. Oh, yeah. When he gets here, he's going to be tearing it up. Take it right out into the ocean. Yeah. What do you think Parker's going to do on the local rivers with this? Wreak havoc. Wreak havoc. <laughs> Absolutely. He's going to be the most hated boater. He's going to be hated for oh, the yeah. ski drivers. For sure. That'll work. I got it cut. I'm so glad we have J H and Easton here. I mean, how I don't know if we would have got us out without that. Anything them. technical over here at the uh, Freedom Factory shop? Everybody's <laughs> <laughs> talking. Can't hear you. Hear you guys. Yep. You 
He's still hitting that piece of wood, huh? Peanut gallery. He's been trying that. Yeah, hit it another way. There you go. That'll get it. Unless we can get the whole thing. Alright, looking good. You can shift it a little to your right. Shyster engaged. All right. Oh, I think we caught on yeah, some wood. Some wood in the back. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right, yep. back there. Let's see if we can try it up. Want to lower her down real quick? Now you can get up under it. You got you gonna Go. All right. 
stand back. It is leaning an awful good bit. You think it's too crooked to get the forks in? I don't think it's too crooked to get the forks in because I know who it is. So. <laughs> They'll go in. I mean, I don't want to. After this, dude, he's twitching off. Tore up. I wouldn't mind seeing it tore up. I said, you think it's too crooked to get the forks in? He said, no, because I know who it is. The forks are going underneath it. Oh. Gonna make it nice and easy to. Say, <laughs> 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 forks roll there. <laughs> oh we boy! Just back the dovetail. Up the <laughs> yeah, or stack some blocks on the barrels or something. I say we just put two more barrels. There it comes. Like this for Parker. I don't tell that guy what to do. Nobody does. No. Yeah. What if we just set up four barrels and like Parker? Here you go. Figure it out. Wait, you can go in the hole, I think, so it don't slide off or something. I mean, it, it should go in the hole, though. Yeah, let's try it. Let's try it. It's worth a shot, you know? Alright. I think you gotta tilt yeah. forward, brother. Go up and forward. <laughs> hey, stay up there with me. You. Two biggest medicines just clacking together. I cannot believe how long this boat is. You know how much we're charging him for that? A lot. A lot. <laughs> hey, take it easy. No peeking. No peeking. No peeking. No peeking. All right. Too late. No peeking. For he paid the money, he gets to see it first. <laughs> All right. Well, now it's up to Parker. Someone grab that shit out of there and we'll turn them on. All right. First impression. Big it, moment. It's not even that big. Ah, uh, you know, <laughs> I, I was shocked by the size of this boat. It is uh, longer than any boat. It I is. really rip around here. Oh, you know what? I think this whole top thing is kind of like a cap. Well, it's been an echo cage. Ooh. No, I mean, I haven't really looked. <laughs> I peeked in the back. We gotta get it off. It looks like it's in one piece. It looks like it's ready to go. Looks like she's ready to hit the river. I've been on the phone all day. Yeah. With companies we're teaming up with to make this thing just bad to the point. I'm so snow fired. Hydraulic tire steering. Well, that is one of the things we need to address. <laughs> Damn, it's dude, it's big. huge. It's huge, right? Holy crap. There's the old long tail, huh? First one in America. Wow. Is that prop crazy? And they sent you a spare, huh? Yeah, we got a spare because there's a common weak point here where these will these will kind of burn out and then it starts flopping around, but I'm sure we'll be able to figure it out. We got the transmission. These are out of key trucks, like your mini truck. Yeah. Yeah, same one. Damn. And then, uh, which you could probably get fuel here. system, dude. Frick. I know. I know. It's got a decent fuel system on it. We're gonna redo all this hosing with like really nice AN stuff. Yeah. 
That is. We're gonna do a bad, uh, like a really nice computer for it, and uh, okay. batteries. Access is gonna hook it up with some batteries. Wow, dude, this is sick. I know, right? We're gonna so, do this cage. Isn't it sweet how he built this for us? Yeah, this is like this is some proper shipping. I was saying now. <laughs> I know. This I isn't like the MD. Impressed. Yeah, they really didn't just throw it in the container. They didn't waste any. Uh, so crazy. They didn't cut any corners on the ship. No you corners. Know, that's what no, I'm... no corners cut. Yeah. I don't really know what to do with it now. I mean, we gotta get a trailer. This is yeah, yeah. I'm kind of wondering what you're gonna do with it, or if it's gonna Mind be in my parking lot for a while. You said it's gotta be out here by the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. It does. <laughs> Otherwise, I gotta put it over in those trees. We're gonna talk about that. Damn, she's huge. Isn't it? Big? It's pretty narrow. Yes. Yeah. The beam is really. Uh, it's probably what five feet, but I think it's all of like almost thirty feet long without yeah. the tail. Dude, the I'd tail, say the I mean, look how long the tail is too. I mean, the tail's probably 10 feet long. Yeah, so overall, you're probably 40, close to 40 feet. feet. Yep. Damn. And it has no reverse, or does? It does, actually. This transmission, you have four neutral and reverse. It's controlled by uh, some lever that There's your handle. Here. That's cool. What's that? Your hand, like yeah. your steering handle. Yep, so that's a rudder that's on the back. Yep. Because. You weren't using this much, though, once you were ripping, were you? When you're ripping, you use that to like slowly like if you're on the river you know and you want to have like a yeah bends and you want to use that as an assist otherwise you're just kind of manhandling it the whole way but she's here man I'm very like, interesting this is sick mind if we keep it in uh at your house for a couple weeks? yeah yeah just put it right near my front door we're gonna pull the turbo out and we'll put this in the garage yeah wow what a unit Pretty cool. I mean, right? she's huge. Handcrafted. It looks really nice. Yeah, so this was hand built. I literally put in the order a year ago right now, and it took like five months to build. Yeah. And then another like five months to get here. And then some looks time really good. Between. Yeah. She sweet. is straight up handcrafted wood. <laughs> From Thailand. Don't want to catch a fire on this baby. <laughs> no. This boat is literally flammable. You know what it needs to? A bilge. It needs a bilge. Yeah, that'd be good. It'd be good. Bucket. Sick. You gonna hit the rapids in Idaho with us? You know, I don't know about the rapids on okay. this thing, right. but the Mayaka River, sign me up. I'll 100%. be there. 100%. All I'll right. I'll be there. She looks good. It smells good. You yeah, literally you can smell, smell the wood. Well, yeah. it was fumigated, right? Because you bring some jungle wood over. Oh. What, what type of uh, wood is this? Teak. Teak. Yep. And it's already varnished, so people like are, oh, teak's gonna be so much work, but really. It's already been varnished all it's over. It's got a little clear coat on it. Yeah, it's got a clear coat. Sick. Huh. Crazy, man. Congratulations. It's finally here, right? It's yeah. been a year in the making. Finally can't wait out. to go rip it on the river with you. I can't wait to beat a jet boat with it. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. How fast can it go? They say it'll do 90. Oh my god, that's they say. that's crazy. I think you got me out of the hole, but I'm going to freight train by you. Well, no, I'll race around the turn. <laughs> yeah, any turns, I'm done. I'm done. That's cool. crazy. Cool. What was that? Dude, it's here. It's, it's here, and it's I was not, not even that big. I expecting to have to unload a box of this size. All right, I want you guys to peek your heads over and take a gander at her. Oh, my <laughs> God. Dude, it's literally, Dude, it literally takes tip to tip. <laughs> I know. Oh my God. It's every square inch of the frame I in here, isn't it? Dude, this is nice big. woodwork. I know, That's right? what I'm saying. Look at the freaking crash I mean, I did tell them I wanted the biggest, baddest long tail you could possibly get. You got so it. This is literally the biggest <laughs> one it. you could buy. It is, it is. All Dude, handmade out of teak. Holy yeah, you got cow. it. Dude. Isn't that crazy? It came with two drive Look shafts. Drive shaft. Yeah, isn't that wild? I mean, it's. Like I watched your videos of when you were over there ripping it, and in the video, it does not look this big. I know, I know. Yeah, I underestimated so I the size. Take it all the weight kind of balances itself out. That's what out. people have always said about me. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you oh, say? Man. Does the weight kind of balance it out, like the weight of these drive shafts? Of the whole boat? This thing looks solid. Like when you're turning it, is it like. Really, it is. Really it's pretty heavy? balanced. And in fact, I think this motor mount can be adjusted, or it was balanced when they put it all on. So this transmission, it gives you four neutral and reverse out of like a key truck. Dude, it literally and then, looks uh, like you know, they cut a transmission in half. It, did. <laughs> it still has a starter on the side, see it? Yeah. Is it? From the old one. Well, the starter hole. Yeah, we're going to need that. Dude, this thing is amazing. Isn't that cool? Dude, this thing is sick. So we need to get a trailer for it. You have to have one built, bud. Yeah, you yeah, have to. I know. Like three jet ski trailers <laughs> long. Yep, yep. 
take the boat out today, we'll drop it off Friday, assemble it Saturday morning, and Sunday we'll go cruise. This yeah, that's I'm hoping to have thing. this thing going by probably tomorrow or Thursday. Wait, how hard is it to put the drive shaft on when you get there? Because obviously it's not you that can't bad. Drive. You can slide; it just slides right in. And then okay. there's like two or three bolts. To you can see the bolts on the back right there. Of the, you just tighten those down. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was like thinking like this thing would be like 45 feet long. <laughs> it is like, massive. Dude, Dude I thought is that this boat had this on it, and that's why the box is so big. I did not know that this entire box was just wood. I know. So it's, are you oh going in gosh. the Gulf in this? Absolutely. I'm gonna go in the Gulf in it, intercoastal, the river. Uh, We're going everywhere with this thing. You know how jet skis are like out there, like they're like the snowboarders kind of. Yeah. Like the cockroaches even, of the sea. You're gonna be even <laughs> worse. <laughs> like they're gonna hate you out there. I know, rolling coal up to the tiki bar. They're gonna love it, dude. The thumb <laughs> Isn't that cool? Yeah, it's like, really just nice. like a night. It's everything's kind of neatly crafted on it, like the ball on the end. Yeah, it's yeah. nicely tigged on there. I mean, it's just it's a it's a unit, dude, man. You pull up to the sandbar in this. People are gonna lose their minds. You're definitely gonna crazy. Boat there. I know. <laughs> what, um, what engine are you gonna run in this thing? The uh, Suzu 4J. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's already here. It's an Indiana Waggler getting built this weekend. Sweet. Waggler built some badass engines. I'm pretty That's going to be awesome. I'm fired up. It's the same engine that was on it. Dude, we going deep sea fishing this thing or what? Come on, I'm thinking go. I'm thinking like a Marco Island to Key West run. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like 80 miles. We pick like a super calm day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It'd be cool. Bring it with some lights if I do it at night. I'm thinking Wayland lights. Yeah, for sure. Lighter up. Oh, well, it's got to have lights to make it legal. We got to put Reggie numbers on it. Pretty cool though. What are you gonna register it as a jet ski? Homemade. Oh, oh okay. Homemade. Like a sailboat. Yep. Pretty cool. Dude, I mean, look at this prop. Don't yeah, those are all like the custom bottom. built. Yeah, this is custom. I need to scan that before we run them in case we need to make a new one. Actually, yeah, there's a guy in Palmetto that makes them. That is crazy. Well, you got two, so you can always wet them bar one. Hand. Right? Copy it. Where you got yep. it. Get three back. All right, guys, I'm going to spend a couple of minutes here and kind of go over what needs to be done. We're going to walk through the companies that are helping out putting this thing together. We got to do a battery. We got to do an ECU. We got to do lights. We got to do wiring, a uh, box to put it all in. So Zach's going to take care of all that this weekend. Yep, no problem. <laughs> For free. <laughs> For free. He's, sponsoring Two cases He's not going to be working on his boat until this one's done. He said, I'm not drinking a single Dr. Pepper well, until it's I done. Think you, you heard it here first. I'm going to have to fight over me this weekend. You know, I got a wait race to win over there. Would you rather be at the racetrack or boating? Tell us. The long Tell pause us. says the answer. Are we winning at the track? <laughs> Do you want, would you rather be on a boat or at the racetrack? You're just there. I mean, a boat's definitely got to win. <laughs> my dog, race. dude. That's, that's my boy right there. We got the Hellcat. This thing's been sitting for a couple months, ever since I broke the axle at a Trucks Gone Wild event. And I gotta get it back going again. The thing is a total piece of crap. I really don't know what to do with it. The engine is super stout. The guys that shop Hellcats made it really nasty, but the car's just totally gone to crap. It's 100% my fault. I saw a picture of it the other day when it was in the condition I bought it and I was kind of heartbroken by it. I really don't know what to do with it, but if you guys have any ideas, let me know. I have been looking for a Ram 1500 short bed that's a regular cab to like kind of swap this engine setup into, which I think would be super cool. So if anybody knows of like a sport Ram 1500, like 2014, that's super clean, hit me up because I might be interested in doing a complete swap of the holly and the engine of this into one of those trucks or if you have a better idea let me know in the comments let's lift this thing up and check out the damage that was done to the rear end on this car don't mind the absolute mess going on in my garage right now we're gonna uh, put her up on the left and check it out from underneath see if we can't do any little damage control all right i know i broke the rear axles let's check this thing out RT, rc car storage Okay, yep, that's a that's a blown passenger side axle right there. Last time we broke it, we broke the driver's side, I believe. Now we broke the passenger side. I don't really know whether I want to get 
more stout axles for this thing if I'm planning on swapping it over, but I should definitely get the car rolling again and driving so it can at least move it around. And But these axles are like freaking $500 a piece, which is crazy. I mean, you would think that you could get them for cheaper than this. But yeah, this is the underneath it. This does have the one piece drive shaft. The exhaust is just kind of hanging here. These are just directly bolted onto the headers. It's really in rough condition, guys. Not proud of this car right now, but let's see if we can't pull this axle out of here and see uh, if we can't just, you know, unhook these bars and swing the whole rear right assembly out to slide in a new axle, or if we're gonna have to drop the rear diff like we did last time when we uh, broke an axle. Hopefully we can just... Ugh. That is a clean break right there. Let me show you. This is where it broke off. Last time the axle broke, I think it broke... Oh, it broke this, this the nub off inside of the rear diff and we had to tear the whole rear diff down. I guess here's another weak point over here. The bigger axles are a couple thousand dollars versus the stock ones are like 500 bucks. I'd hate to put a couple thousand dollars into it, but I guess if somebody has some for sale, let me know. Because I'd love to do some more burnouts with this thing at Cletus and Cars this year before we take it apart and use the engine for something else. But I know in order to do this, I'm going to need to jack it up, pull the right rear tire, and uh, get an axle nut off here. Pull that out, see if I have one. All right, well, while I wait on parts for the Hellcat, let's kind of go over what we need to do for Gator Tail. We have a 40-foot boat named Gator Tail. And we have a list of stuff we need to get done on it. The number one thing is the engine. The engine. The engine was not allowed to come to the United States fully assembled because it's against EPA emission laws. And so it was disassembled and sent in pieces as parts. And we're gonna be re reassembling it and making sure that it's up to standard. So the engine is not here right now. It's currently at Wagler getting built by Danny Diesel. And so he's gonna be assembling it this weekend. And then we have to also put an ECU together. The computer that came with the boat is the computer out of a Hilux truck in Thailand and it's all in Thai. And so the tunability of something like that, it's gonna be very difficult for something to be like myself. So. Exergy reached out, Jeff, he's gonna be building a harness and an ECU for this truck that is a, a Bosch system and also taking care of the injectors as well. So Exergy is doing the ECU and the injectors and the harness. And then we have the fuel system. The fuel system is already in place but I want to upgrade all the rubber see-through lines that are used for the water pump and the existing fuel pump and kind of have them color-coded so that they're easily able to work on and identify. So I need to order fuel lines from Motion Raceworks. They carry all the AN fittings and the AN lines that I'll need in order to put a solid water system as well as fuel system in the boat so that it runs flawlessly. Along with those lines, we also need to put a bilge. And this is going to go under the items that I'm gonna to need to build a board for. I'll probably use like a race wire solutions board. It's what I used in the Dr. Pepper. And it had all the relays are all solid state. It was super nice and easy to wire. So we'll put the, uh, for power, we're gonna need a bilge pump. And we're also going to need a water pump because there's a electric water pump that feeds the mechanical fuel pump that's on the motor. So we're going to need to do a water pump. And then we're also going to need uh, power to the fuel pumps, which there's two of, or we could do one big solid state relay on that. Along with a bilge, we also need lights in order to make it legal for the water. In order to have a boat registered on the water, I have to get it titled. In order to get it titled, I have to, to illustrate it to the Department of Motor Vehicles that it is a homemade boat. So we're gonna to need to get registration. 
And in order to do that, there's a list of items that the boat must have, including a bilge. We need to do lights, which I'm talking to Zeb at Whalen right now about possibly doing lighting underneath the boat as well as all the way around it. But we at least need the red and green up front and the white up top. So power we're gonna also need for lights. The ECU. And then for battery, uh, we're working with excess power. We're gonna keep the 12 volt system that's currently in place. And then uh, we're also gonna be doing ocean grip. If you don't know what ocean grip is, it's this really nice foam material you put on the bottom of boats. Currently there's some cushions there, but other than that, it's super slippery finished teak right now. And uh, my boy Dylan does some super sick work and he's gonna come out and scan the whole boat and then actually like mill it out is kind of a cool process. So I'll make sure to document that when he's doing it. And guys, I'm gonna be making videos as this thing's going along because we really don't have a lot of time. Um, I'm hoping to have all this done in four weeks. So early May or mid-May. And the reason why I wanna have it done early to mid-May is because early to mid-June, there's a big event going on in Texas where they're racing a bunch of John boats and I wanna bring this thing out for it. It's called their Cado and they're all running around in the trees and in the river and drag racing. And I think it would just be an epic piece to bring out. It's like, I wanted that to be its big first outing. So there's a lot to do in this short amount of time. Obviously priority one's getting the engine back. Two's gonna be getting the ECO that's gonna control it all and all making it tun tunable. And then putting all this in a box, Brian, you don't know this yet, but I'm hoping <laughs> your company R&D Concepts can help me build a nice aluminum box to house all the electronics in. And then, you know, have, we'll have nice like wiring bulkheads coming in and out of it, uh, you know, feeding from the power to all of the accessories. And uh, I think this is going to be, a, oh, and then obviously we're going to do a stereo at some point. So we're going to need to put a, a relay in for a stereo. So we need some kind of power distribution box that powers one, two, three, four, five, six items. I'll probably build it with like an extra two just in case we decide to wire something into it. But uh, yeah, a oh, a trailer. Tomorrow I'm meeting a guy at the boat and we're going to be taking measurements to build a trailer for this thing because it's already like 30 feet long without the tail. We're probably gonna have to move the axles further back would be my idea since the engine's so far back. I don't want all that weight in the back and the axles further forward and bouncing down the road. Uh, you know, and the beam's super narrow on it. It's only like five feet wide. So we're gonna have to find some kind of trailer that can fit a five foot wide bow that also 30 feet long. It's gonna be kind of weird and it's flat bottomed and stepped. So a trailer's gotta be built so we can get it out of Cleeter's lot. And that is, um, I'll insert the name here. I can't remember the name of his company off the top of my head, but we're meeting up tomorrow to do that. But yeah, that's a solid list. We got a, a lot to do on this thing to get it going. I'm super pumped guys. The Gator Tail has made it to America. First Thailand long tail to make it to the United States. We got a lot to do to get it going in a short amount of time. I don't think we're gonna get done with all this stuff before the events that we have coming up, but it's at least a start to put it all up on a board so I can look at it every day when I'm pulling it out of the garage, keep me motivated to get this thing done. The Hellcat's gonna get kind of sidetracked. I'm gonna start looking for an axle for it right now when I get on my computer. Unless one of y'all have one, we can make a deal. That's it, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like, leave me a comment. We'll see you on the next Gator Tail episode. There's gonna be lots of content for it to come. There's some cool, super cool ideas that I'll, leave, I'll let you in on right now. If you have any other ideas you wanna hear or see me do with this thing, I'm gonna at least give you a little glimpse of what we have. Obviously, we're gonna be going fishing. Y'all know I love the fish. I wanna go catch like chew fish or a tarpon or a shark on this thing. I think it'd be super fun. I wanna rip it in the river. We gotta race the, uh, the jet boats. So we're gonna race the jet boats. The jet boats. We have to, uh, I wanna do like a long run with it. It's definitely not a comfortable boat for long run in the ocean. It really needs to be on like flat water, but if we find a super calm day, I want to do a Marco Island to Key West, which is like an 80 mile run. He's, fine. <laughs> He's fine. We got Winston here. And then, uh, what else we got? 
Fishing River Race Jet Boats, Marco Key West, oh, the Cotto in Texas with the, with the Texas Mud Boat guys. I'd love to hear more ideas y'all have. Lots of uh, super exciting, fun stuff coming up with this thing. It's like the perfect time coming up for summer. We're gonna have great weather. It's kind of windy out there right now. Not the best boating weather, but it's coming. I think this thing came at like the perfect time of year. Oh, one last thing, uh, merch for this boat. I already have a shirt in the works. I'll kind of give you guys uh, a glimpse into it right here. It's a good day of boating still beats a bad day at work or bad day of boating beats a good day at work. Uh, if you have any other gator tail ideas, I kind of want to do one with it like ripping on the back of a shirt or like a hat that says gator tail or something like that. Oh, floating keychains. I need to get in touch with somebody about that. So if anybody can help out with these resources, let me know in the comments or shoot me a DM on Instagram. It's the easiest way to get a hold of me. See you later. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you've been wrenching on your car, need a 10 millimeter wrench, plowing a bag of flaming hot Cheetos and drinking a Dr. Pepper and realize, dang it, I really need to brush my teeth? Well, now's your chance. I'm talking Dr. Parker 10 millimeter tool brush, a toothbrush on one end, a 10 millimeter wrench on the other. This sucker, CNC billet aluminum, baby. Lifetime warranty. Get them now at CletusMcFarland.com.